Can coding boot camps be more effective than traditional undergraduate computer science programs? While undergraduate programs may produce students with a higher level of programming proficiency, today's software development industry requires more than just the ability to be an expert coder. In fact, many hiring managers spend a considerable amount of time evaluating a candidate's level of adaptive expertise. So to what degree can adaptive expertise be developed and practiced, especially in the context of boot camps and undergraduate programs? To answer this question, Quinn Burke, a senior research scientist at Digital Promise, and Cinnamon Sunrise Bailey, a graduate research assistant at Clemson University, interviewed 49 students from four different universities and three coding boot camps. These interviews range anywhere from 30 minutes to one hour in length, and we tried to keep it very open-ended. On the back end, what we did is went through um, <laughs> quite a few transcripts, going through what these students, both in undergraduate CS departments had said, as well as coding boot camp students had said, and analyzed what they said in terms of three benchmarks of adaptive expertise. And those benchmarks were, to what extent were the students talking about peer-to-peer -peer collaboration? And to what extent was collaboration part of their lives prior to entering the program? We talked about mentorship and instruction, but particularly about mentorship. We wanted to understand to what extent they were forming personal relationships with their instructors and whether there was the opportunity to develop mentorship. And the third element was of receiving feedback. Were you getting quality feedback on the work you were doing? And was the feedback coming to you in enough of a quick manner, immediate enough, that you felt you could act on it and um, develop your work accordingly? After collecting and analyzing all the data, Burke and Bailey discovered some notable differences. Coding bootcamp students are older. Uh, in general, they come in uh, on average in their late 20s. Most of them have anywhere between five and six years worth of experience of the folks we were talking to. They have actually done collaboration, not in the vacuum of education, but largely on the job. So they went into um, the uh, program already with a, a wider background of what it was to collaborate and, and how it is to work with multiple people on a team and designate roles. Um, undergraduates, while they said they liked the idea of collaboration, oftentimes on the back end said that uh, it was forced collaboration, oftentimes it wasn't um, sort of a natural collaboration, and oftentimes it, it very much depended upon the professor with that collaboration piece. Mentorship was very similar in that situation too. Um, coding boot camps typically have anywhere from one to three, maybe four instructors. You're there with them day in and day out, so you develop that relationship uh, more immediately within the coding boot camp environment. Within undergraduate programs, you go through a whole series of professors over the course of your four years, and a lot of it's dependent on the personality and um, basically the proclivity of the professor to whether or not he or she actually wants to foster a mentorship enrollment. Same thing with feedback. Uh, feedback was something that was regularly built in day to day in the intensive environment of the boot camp, whereas feedback very much was uh, oriented to the professor uh, himself or herself. So do coding boot camps have the potential to disrupt or even replace higher education? Coding boot camps are not going to necessarily replace undergraduate programs in any shape or form. What they will most likely do is continue to move in on uh, graduate degrees. Learn more in the September 2020 Communications of the ACM in the contributed article, Becoming an Adaptive Expert.